everybody, this is Praxis, and today I've switched gears from what I've been doing the past you know, couple weeks. I just finished up on the east wall behind you. The scaffolding over there can come down and get moved over to the west area so I can finish the west wall. Once I get the west wall all covered in foam, then I can do the roof on top. So I'm excited about doing that, but before I do that, I was thinking I need more gravel in both greenhouses. I was thinking, why not get the gravel delivery first? That will raise the level of the floor in the greenhouse. It'll bring up the scaffolding, just make everything easier to work with. You know, it doesn't have pits and, and all that kind of stuff that we're dealing with over here. So I figured I'd do that. Now, when they dump it, uh, it's going to kind of make a mess. I put a tarp around the walls here to try to minimize how much damage uh, you know, is done to the walls. Well, actually, I eliminate damage to the wall. I think I protect, protected it pretty well. I got blocks and, and wood all around it and the tarp on top to kind of just keep the gravel out of there. Uh, but it's also going to overflow. It's going to overflow out of the structure. You know, I'll have to shovel that back in. It's also going to overflow into this structure. And I was thinking if that had happened, I'd have to take all that stuff and shovel it back out to get this nice level floor again. So instead of doing that, why not work with the, the spillover and start working on the pink floor, like uh, insulation, the subfloor area. That way when it spills in, it's like, oh great, it, it's helping me because I need to get uh, you know stone into here anyway. So that's what I've been doing uh, today. I've uh, laid down a bunch of uh, plastic barrier, this black plastic right here. This goes under the entire uh, floor surface. It's a vapor barrier and that is going to... Uh, it'll be an asset for a number of reasons. One, it, it pre prevents uh, moisture from coming up into the house from the ground. Two, if we find out later that there's radon here, and that's something that can happen in New England, especially when you're near bedrock, uh, you know, radon is a radioactive gas and it comes up the, uh, out of decaying granite. That can happen if we have radon. If I have an air barrier underneath uh, the floor and all the gravel under the floor, you can make a relatively simple vent system that puts a hole down into the gravel area. You've got the plastic on top uh, to, and it draws air uh, from underneath the slab and gets the, air, the radon up and out so it's not in your living space. So uh, those are two reasons to put that down. And then on top of that, uh, I'm putting this pink foam insulation. You can see a bunch of it still exposed behind you over here. Uh, pink foam insulation, two inches all over the floor, up on the walls over here, and then on top of that, I'm putting another layer of plastic. And the, the top layer of plastic, the one that I'm walking on here, the only reason I have that is because there's cracks between all the foam panels, and the ground here, you know, it's reasonably flat, but, you know, it, it's got a little bit of bump here and there. And I didn't want this dirt working its way down into the cracks and kind of making these panels migrate. So I figured I put all this plastic over it, and that will make the dirt just push down on the foam and kind of keep it in, in place and keep it from going down through all those holes. Um, also, uh, it uses up all the scrap plastic. This is the scrap plastic that I had from the lumber deliveries. I saved it and now I have it so I didn't have to, uh, you know, buy extra plastic for that purpose. The, the black stuff is six mil plastic that's specifically for this that I bought for this purpose. But everything else you see on the top here is just scrap that was going to get thrown into a landfill anyway. Might as well use it to, uh, to help me here. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. I've got uh, some black plastic here. I'm shoveling dirt in and I'm getting it all around the edges just to try to start getting some weight on this, uh, uh, on this foam, start holding things into place. Josh is not here today, but this is something that would be great for Josh to be able to jump on whenever he uh, you know, doesn't have anything else going on. Uh, we're just shoveling dirt into the structure. Uh, at some point, once I get this all set up, I think we'll probably get a wheelbarrow system uh, and, you know, so we can wheelbarrow it in instead of having to do it one shovel full at a time. But for now, I've just been doing one shovel full at a time to kind of get the uh, dirt covering the area. So that's what I'm doing today. Then I'm going to be dismantling the scaffolding and uh, getting it ready to set up over here once we get our gravel, del uh, our gravel delivery. And that happens tomorrow at some point. That's it. Thanks for watching.